because they were busted. Let's be honest. Uh, several years ago, one of their top uh, executives came forth with a whistleblower suit, illuminating all sorts of fraudulent acts going on within the company. The message today isn't that WellCare is evil. The message is that WellCare is one of many Medicaid HMO providers who are gaming the system at the expense of taxpayers. Porter Berg's new report, Medic is Medicaid reform good for taxpayers? Rhetorical question. Our conclusion is hardly. Our position, Porter Berg's position, is that if this Medicaid pilot project is proven to be effective, then it should be considered. However, it hasn't. Serious research, all credible serious research on the pilot projects have not found evidence that they've been effective at lowering costs without uh, inhibiting or compromising care. And that's really the issue. We're, we're concerned that private profits, the pursuit of satisfying shareholders' needs, will compromise care for individuals. And there are other people who can speak more in detail about what that means as a provider, and other groups will probably have to say, so I'll turn it over now. Hi, my name is Sheena Roll. I am with Organized Now, and the current Florida Medicaid reform is directly based on controversial Medicaid experiments that have taken place over the last five years in five pilot counties. However, this reform brings the program statewide to all 57 counties. And with insufficient new protections being put into place to change that behavior for the bad actors, this Medicaid reform plan is a recipe for massive tax fraud. WellCare's whistleblower case lifted the curtain on fraud in court. In fact, the total Medicaid HMO funds by AHA from 2006 to 2001 amounted to $6,186,000. Over $6 million in just five years. Imagine if this fraud and abuse was mandated to go statewide. It's clear that HMOs stand to make a lot of money off of the Florida Medicaid reform proposal to move this pilot program statewide. This is further proven by the political contributions and expenditures on lobbyists coming in from their various insurance companies. Without changes to greater protection against fraud and abuse, it guarantees